The Silhouette, Part 2. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, all of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There is no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Well, I'm thinking we throw the silk hat at him. Because how did it end up? At the crime scene, if he was wearing it the entire time. That's all I'm thinking here, so... Objection! This wouldn't have to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how one would mistake a thing like that? I see. <laughs> I'm happy because the music changes. We're on the pursuit. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma. Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. <laughs> She's just like, ah. The, the, the crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No, that's not true. Oh, the hat, oh. Or da, or da, or da, Mr. Curls. Yes, Your Honor? What is the meaning of all of this? Old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That That's so harsh. It's not right here. Is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess. You just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you were sick. Oh, all right, he's off. He's off. He's got. All right. No matter how old I get, I always be younger than you. Well, uh, sob. Yes. Enough of these charged outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? Saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. What's the matter, Nick? Something I've been running over for a while now. Mo? What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Footprints. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? Can't ask me that. Objection! Mr. Phoenix Wright is battering the witness, Your Honor. Objection! This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is, how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. Just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. Sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Because the small details are important. Do you have any proof to count his story? As to how the criminal left the scene? Yeah, there's no footprints with the crime photo. Oh god, I hope this is right. Take that! Look at this picture. It's gotta be it, right? The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints. In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. 
Hey, hey. No, no, there's no footprints. There's definitely no footprints. I mean, there would be. So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, uh... Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait just a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I've said. Can. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. Didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse. Before they get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false. It just hasn't been false. I haven't lied, it's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused. Uh, a bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma in her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. No, no, wait, she did what? what? What's going on here? Or da, or da, I will have or da. Francisca Von Karma. How could you? What do you mean, what do you mean, Bao, Your Honor? If you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. It's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Curls. Huh. You're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. The truth. About time. Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Oh my god. Everything that I've said until now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw... He, uh... This is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. Okay, so not a zip line. That's what I was thinking, so not that. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Triple dot. Yep. Well, that was, um... How do you, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of a crime by flying... There's no way that actually happened. You... You're right. Why is she right? Believe the other witnesses. Why would you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story. Mm, to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? Hmm. 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 I want. I want. I want that sort of thing. Like he thinks he's telling the truth. That's what I want. It's that sort of thing like, he believes he saw it, so I'm thinking his eyes were playing tricks. It's that sort of thing of, I still think there's a rope involved, and I still think that pole's involved. I still think there's got to be something with a trampoline and banging your head, but I don't know how that plays into it now. And the window ledge, and like, hmm. I mean, Mo could be the killer. Look at his, his eyes were playing tricks. It's obvious that the witness's eyes are playing tricks on him. Don't be such a fool. 
Who in the world do you think I would mistake that jerk for? Jeez, I didn't say you were lying. Oh, he looks really serious right now. More serious than he's looked all day. I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that. I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It's an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, I... Uh, I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. December 29th, 2.33pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby. Number five. Hey, sweeties, what in the world is going on? And that's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew in off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But... It looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. Not actually flying on stage. Use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Well, just tell me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The contrary rule. The, the only rule. Sorry, Max. I made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick. What do we do now? What we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. To be continued. Right now, obviously. That didn't really do a fade in, but alright. December 29th. 3.03 p.m. Wright and Co. Law Offices. Um, Nick. What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep. Magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm. What kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Huh. First she put her right thumb next to, next to, next to her left hand. And they just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Is it kind of like this? What? Wow, how'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Yes. Charlie. A quite decorative plant. Nick, you've been watering the plant every day, right? I've been thinking about watering it too. Maya, we don't want to drown poor Charlie. But he get bigger. Does she want the office to look like a tropical rainforest or something? Poor Charlie. What's up with so much? There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Lately, they've been holding huge events at the Gatewater. Seems they've really become a top-class hotel. I wonder if the bellboy would remember us. Probably would. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. You know about the new Steel Samurai movie they are making, don't you, Nick? Yeah, I heard that they're making a movie starring the new cast. 
It's already out. Critics say, time to commit Harry Kiri. If you miss this action, epic. You don't say. Yeah, I bet the star will win this year's Hero of Heroes Grand Prix. Mm-hmm. All right, already. I'll go see the movie. Yay, let's hurry and wrap this case up so we can see it. Oh my god. My desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's usually... Usually clean, yeah. Uh, unusually clean. Um, it's covered with dust. Maybe you should use your desk every now and again. I thought it was unusually clean. Like, what? Difficult-looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Hey, I'm reading that one. You know I'm studying the law now, right? I put that bookmark on the page I was reading. Don't you dare move it. What? You're reading? These? A bookmark, huh? Hmm, you mean this thing? It was only on the second page. Well, you have to start somewhere, right? Do you realize that you have 1,000 pages to go, right? Maybe you really should sell all these books, Nick. Oh dear. Let's talk to you then. What to do? Don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? Yes, but not under their own power. The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? That was it. He simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Any ideas? Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trino, Mo. I have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But... But what? Well, that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. It was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. Alright. Guessing detention center first then. See if we can speak to Max about more details. December 29th, detention center. Visitor's room. That's gonna be like number two or something like that. Oh my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? Kind of TV special. Maximilian Galactica. The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be a necessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It'd be a contractual obligation. That show business. Alright. The Night of the Moida. Um, the Night of the Crime. You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down. Sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoochy clown says. It wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm. You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. 
I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. Very much thinking at this point, it's like... So we know the white roses went off in that direction, is the best way of putting it. Where did they disappear to? Where are the white roses? I feel that's going to be significant in figuring out what the hell happened. Where did the white roses go? Hmm. Today's trial. I was thinking about this in court today. Got a favor to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie? Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous. A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Okay. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told this story like 100 times already. So it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I'm really sick of telling this story. Just tell us, Max. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it all again. Voila, here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at the fabulous stage. This is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then. And die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions. The acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. The trophy's going to be a significant thing again. It's like there's... Hmm, just details. I need to connect these dots. Because it's like, what's up with the trampoline and the... the the thing, like the crack in the ceiling, is that just a red herring? Why is there no snow on the window sills, on the ledges? Where are the white roses gone? What was the murder weapon? Who was the silhouette? Uh, I'm trying to think like all the other different things. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. What I'm thinking right now. It's like, my mind is thinking Acro, because we haven't interacted with Acro at all yet. It's like, where are you? I feel like you're going to be very significant to this, and you haven't come up at all. So my sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? Grand Prix photo added to the court record. Alright then, so let's... Examine in here. Smile, you're on candid camera. Max keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. Wonder if he's still trying to be a star. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet, you could forget he was even there. He wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. We know that, we know that. Okay, let's move on over to the circus. December 29th, very big circus, circus entrance. You hear that? Sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yes, sir. Wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your bow. Oh dear. Flashbacks in my mind to 
Star Trek V. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trina, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. You can't handle something as simple as this. What are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trina. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Oh. Yes, Trina wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we're trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. See, see. Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you. Not the only ones. You can surprise me with your idea. Once we get a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You think so? I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Alright. Today's trial. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what you we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first, they thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Then we said hello. And he didn't even give a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um... I would have thought it was the Ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. Yeah. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. And that's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Huh. You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. And your body aches for your partner's love. That's one of the best parts. Um... Yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine ripe tomato. Ventriloquism? So, how's this new routine working out? Can you two just take a chill pill already? Our routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. Sounds incredible. Let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. The former should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trina, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. I feel like we should be presenting that then. You're right. You're right. Mark my words, I, Trula Quest, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. What? Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You've got to be part of this, too. Okay, so let's, let's see about presenting... So it feels like it's leading... I'm paying attention again to like what they're saying and stuff, and it feels like... Hmm... I still have no idea on why that's significant. But it's like, yeah, they're, like, they were talking about things that Max was talking about in regards to this, so... Would you mind taking a look at this? Um... I... 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 Uh, I'm that... Uh, I... It's... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Hey, that did nothing? Yeah, I guess I was wrong on that. Alright. 
Um, let's go to the Lodging House Plaza then. December 29th, Lodging House Plaza. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? <sighs> I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? And Ziska really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not going to get me to backbite a woman with a whip? No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up. Poof. There she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's... Wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. That's what happened. It means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there. The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? Francisca Von Karma. When she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Can I not go there now at all? Oh. Hmm. This is the condenser for the air conditioner. It hasn't been used in a while. How'd you figure that out? It's going to be the same again, isn't it? Snow still piled. Hmm. Ringmaster's body was found here. Yeah, these all seem to be the same piece of evidence. No clues. Something's covered up by this top at all time, perhaps. Let's scared to death. It's all going to be the same, but I'll do it regardless. Safety light was on at the time of the murder, wasn't it? That's what they say. The performers in the lodging house, so it makes sense that it was on. But the killer was worried that someone would spot them during the crime. Hmm. I don't know then. But alright, so I'm actually going to end this part here then, and in the next part we'll head off to Moe's room. So we'll see you then. Still wondering about that trampoline. Ta-ta for now.